What in the world are you doing? Jackie, I thought we would teach this today. You are juggling on a BOSU. No <laughs> one can do that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently me either. Tell you what, let's teach balance 101 today. Join us for some balance work. Hi, welcome to Ziti's Neuro Fitness Workout. Today, we're gonna to concentrate on balance. Balance. Imagine that. <laughs> we call it Balance 101. The things you're gonna need for today's workout are not three balls to juggle with. <laughs> All you're gonna need is a chair, and I'm gonna use some light weights, some light dumbbells. David's actually gonna use two bricks. Anything that you have in your house will work. Two water bottles or nothing. Yeah, a weight is a weight is a weight. Yeah. Generally. I always say a dumbbell is just an expensive <laughs> rock. So and I'm gonna use bricks. Get a bottle of water because we want you to stay hydrated. Let's go to the edge of your chair and let's get a warm up in. We're gonna do some heel toes in and out. So I love this move because it makes you think a little bit too. So we're gonna to go toes out, heels out until you're nice and wide and then let's come back in hey, not thanks. about speed thanks for joining us today we're glad you're here so happy to see you we're gonna have a great workout for you I'll tell you we've got a pretty intense cardio workout for you today so good luck to you you better strap your boots on and your helmets <laughs> let's go out one more time we're just going in and out this is not the hardest thing we're gonna do today we're gonna do some shrugs today. We're gonna to go up high with your shoulders and then back down. Try to touch your ears with your shoulders and then back down. Nice. All the way up, all the way down. Tell you, let's do a few circles today because those feel so good. I always hear some noise. Oh. And if you're having the kind of day where you're like, ah, I'm just not in this today, I'm kind of down, just move with us. I guarantee after we're done, you'll feel better. Absolutely. Let's go backwards. Reverse them. You will feel better. You know, movement has been proven so many times to just make you feel better. Oh, helps depression, helps anxiety, and makes you stronger. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Mm. And you'll sleep better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's get out to the end of our chair. Our feet are wide and underneath us. We're going to do five sit to stands. So I'm going to pick up an imaginary dollar bill and I'm gonna put it back down on the floor. You're doing a, a modified version, right? I'm doing a chair get up today. I'm using my legs to get me up off the chair. My arms are there just for a little bit of support, but I'm not really using them. And just see how slow we're going down. It's not a fast plop, you guys. And I'm putting that, well, let's not put a dollar back down. Let's put a quarter back down. So every <laughs> time you stand up, you make 75 cents. You're picking up a dollar and you're actually putting a quarter back on the floor. See that? keeps your balance and it puts your weight over your feet so you can actually go down slowly good that's number five i think yeah okay let's do some arm pumps we love arm pumps we're just going to row a boat in and out in and out very nice in and out in and out let's go palms in for a few we could probably actually row a boat here today i it's, think we could it's beautiful weather here absolutely today. let's go palms down good we could probably beat just about everyone else on the river today. You know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> if I was the coxswain and then you were actually rowing, that would probably be the best thing. <laughs> okay, it's that time, favorite time of the day. We're going to do a 20 on 10 off. This is Tabata-like. All right, so I'm going to do a walk, a jump, and then a power jump. So it's a 50%, 70%, 90%. If this is all Japanese to you or foreign to you, guys, don't worry about it. Just follow along with us. Or you can do whatever you want to get your heart rate up. If you have a piece of equipment, jump on it. But Yeah, absolutely. Us. Yeah. Now's the time to jump on your bike or your treadmill. Come back to mm -hmm. us in two or three minutes. Hit pause, come back to us. All right, you ready, Jackie? I'm ready to go. Okay, here we go. Our first 20 seconds is the same effort as just walking. So I'm just doing some high knees in place. You're going to do them sitting down. Walking in my chair. Yep, yep. nice. Getting my heart rate up a little bit. So good to see you today. This is a really nice way to get some interval training in. It's a two on and a one off ratio. Almost there. And now we take a 10 second break. Okay. You know, it seems like these 10 second breaks always go like this. Blink of an eye, blink <laughs> of an eye. So 70% effort for me is I jump an imaginary jump rope. I'm going to punch and kick. 
You got it. I've got two pound dumbbells in my hand. You don't need them. So at the end of the day, all we want you to do is just get your intensity level up a little bit. Oh, nice job, Jack. Here, Here we go. Yeah, I love that move because it combines, yes, you're getting cardio, yeah. but you're getting a little brain work in yeah. too. I'm using opposite sides of my body. And that's your time. Okay, so 10 second break. Now for the big ones, okay? Now we're gonna go up to that 90% effort. So for me, guess what? It's power jumping. Here we go. 20 seconds. I'm power jumping, but my feet aren't leaving the floor. Nice. Woo! You could do this in a chair too, guys. Who said we had to do <gasps> two on, one off? <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Come on, you've got this. You've got this. And that's your time. Woo! <sighs> 10 second break. We're gonna do that all over again. Okay. Okay, so let's start at our 50% effort. So this is kind of like having a little break here too, so. This is a little cool down actually. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so we're at this walking intensity. I could actually go for a walk around the house. Yep. See you in a minute or so. You can leave the screen. We'll still yep. be here when you get back. Don't go to the fridge. <laughs> okay. 10 second break. 10 second break. We go to our 70%. Oh, Jackie. I'll tell you what. I feel good today. It's getting our brain ready. Here we go. 70% effort. Maybe it's a jumping jack for you. Could be anything. Yep. Be Maybe fast. it's just a lower jack. Maybe I throw my arms in here. Maybe it's just an imaginary jump rope. I've never missed the imaginary jump rope. You haven't? No, nope, I can go here, backwards, crossovers, and that's your time. <laughs> okay, 10 second break. Time to get it up one more time. Let's go. You caught this, okay, here we go. 20 seconds, hit it. Come on guys, push yourself. Don't wait till tomorrow. You've got to get it done today, right now. Nice job. So great to see you today. So great to have you here. We're in this together. Nice job, almost there. And that's your time, nice. Wow. You know, we want you winded. We want you to be able to talk, but. Difficult to talk. Don't really want to talk to you right now. <laughs> yeah, you rock that. All right, let's go to the wall and do some balance 101. When I teach Balance 101, I like being close to a wall or having a chair next to me. This could be your kitchen countertop too. Now, here's three different versions of this and you get to pick. You can feet, feet close together. You can be in a tandem stance. That means one foot is in front of the other. Or you can be, oh, one foot, <laughs> okay? So I'm either on two feet with my feet close together I'm in a tandem stance, kind of like I'm standing on a two by four, or I'm standing on one foot, okay? So get ready. Now, being close to wall just means that. Close to wall, don't touch the wall, because if I hold the wall the whole time, you're not gonna get helped with balance. You've gotta get off balance 25% or more of the time to improve your balance. I'm gonna go middle of the road. Some of, our, some of you guys are gonna be on one foot, other people are gonna be on two. So here we go, I'm gonna look up, and look down and look to my left and look to my right. See, I haven't touched the wall yet. It's there if I need it. I might have a chair over here too or a spotter. All of that's fine, but you don't want to be doing this. Got it? All right. We get balance from your arch complex of your foot, the ball arch complex of your foot. Lots of nerve endings there, gang. Also from your vision. All right, so let's do this. Let's cross the arms. We're hitting the same side. We're gonna look up, look down, look to your left, look to your right. All right now, here's a big one for you. Let's try closing the eyes. All right, I can fold my arms, see if my eyes are closed. Wow, that took the vision out of this and it's incredibly hard. I feel my abs working, my legs are shaking. Great job, great job. So you want to get to challenge yourself and get off balance at least some of the time. All right, let's switch sides. If you were on two feet, just stay there. We're gonna go round two of that. I'm gonna switch feet. If you were standing on your left, stand on your right or vice versa. Okay, here we go. Arms are out. I'm looking up, looking down, looking left and looking right. All right, that's not too bad. Let's see what happens when we take the arms out of the equation because they're helping me balance. Here we go. Looking up, 
looking down, looking left, looking right. Good, nice job. All right, now let's close the eyes, see how we do. I can have my arms out or in. Whoa, <laughs> boy, does that make a big difference. My abs are working, my legs are working, I'm shaking. Whoo, that's tough stuff. So where can you do that in your house safely? And how many times a day can you figure that out? Because if you practice your balance, it will improve. All right, it's time for some strength training. Our strength move today is a squat. Jackie, I brought some friends with me. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got them from the garage. Bricks. <laughs> I'm using two pound dumbbells. Dumbbells. You can use water bottles or nothing. Yeah. Let's do some squats. We're going to do 15 to 20 squats today. So I'm out of the chair. I'm going to put my weights right next to my chest. And the first thing I do is I sit back. Like I'm sitting back on this chair and I'm squatting. All right. It's not about speed. We're using enough weight that by the time we hit 15 or 20, we're pretty tired. All right. Looking good. Jackie's hanging her weights. Yep. Perfectly fine. I'm just holding mine up on my chest. You could use a gallon of milk here. That's about eight pounds. That's right. Or two gallons of milk, which would be uh, 25. Is that right? If you just put <laughs> half of the milk in there, it'd just be four pounds. There we go. <laughs> You're doing great, you guys. You know, isn't it great to have a warm up, do some cardio, get brain exercise in, balance today, and then getting stronger? Think about if you did this just a little bit every day. A year from now, Oh, That's power. The world's your oyster. You've got this. I have no idea where we're at. Are we about 500? I think we've been doing this for a while. Let's do five more, okay? <laughs> so we're sitting back. Eyeballs are up. I'm, I'm able to see your eyes the whole time. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm sure your legs are getting tired. That's great. They're supposed to be. It's perfect. Everybody out there can get strong. Everybody. You can be 99 years old and still get stronger. Last one. Good. <sighs> Okay, hey, that's good. You look good, Jack. I think I got stronger there. Okay, so it's time for cool down. Yes. I'm gonna do one of my favorite cool down, and that's perfect walking. So, if there's a string attached to my chest, it's pulling me up and out, and I'm gonna try to step with my heel and my toe. I'm gonna actually just walk around a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna do a seated lineup, and now that he's out of the picture, we can talk. I'm going to push my feet into the floor. I'm squeezing a ball in between my knees. You could use a couch pillow to do this. I'm pushing my hands into my thighs and I'm pinching my shoulder blades. That same string is pulling my chest up and out. Now, if you're walking around your house, just keep going. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Make sure you hold your breath, okay? <laughs> I love this posture move, you guys. I just love having perfect posture for a minute or so. And perfect walking, there's nothing better than perfect walking. Don't hold your breath, gang. Breathe. You can push, pinch, push, pinch all at the same time. And that gave me a little cool down. Yep. And you know, I really do feel this today. After that little Tabata, I'll tell you what, my heart rate was up, and I, I really truly feel like my walking improved just now. Isn't that nice? Everything's better after cardio, guys. Everything's better after cardio. Let's do two stretches. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. This is kind of our granddaddy of stretches. We're going to push the belly button towards the toe. The toe comes towards the belly button. And you say, yeah, we see this all the time. You got it. And there's a reason for it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Let's I come back up. Do this stretch right before bed. It's oh, yeah. helps me sleep push better. Push the belly button towards the toe. I trained a city uh, here, close to where we live one, one year, uh, their whole maintenance department. And I just showed them some stretching, and they could do it right before bed. And the head of Parks and Rec came to me a year later and said, thank you, Ziddy. And I said, what for? He goes, I don't have any more back pain. And the only thing I've done differently are those six stretches you showed me. That's it. Stretching's powerful. Isn't that powerful stuff? Let's do the same thing on the other side. Push the belly button towards the toe. Toe comes towards the belly button. Feel that all the way up the back of my leg. That's a good stretch. Wonderful. Take a break. Let's do one more. Down. So great to see you today. Please come back. Tell your friends. Please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. We love having you. We're going to do a shoulder stretch. Grab an elbow and just pull across. This YouTube channel is meant to be shared. 
It's called Zitties Total Health Works. We have lots of content on there for you. Doesn't matter what's going on with you, we've got something for you. We do. And we love seeing you. Oh, yeah. We're so happy that you're with us. Nice. We, we really enjoy seeing people improve. You know, I think that's what has really kept us going all these years, Jackie, is that we really enjoy seeing people and building relationships and watching people improve. Let's do one more. Pat yourself on the back. You did a great job today. <laughs> Drink some water when you're done. Stay hydrated. And we'll see you next time. Join us again.